Uh, so I'm Thea and I graduated from Queen Mary University of London with a degree in mathematics with business management. Uh, so I do have some experience with business management, not just through my courses, but also through the Young Enterprise program that where I acted as uh, the deputy managing director for one of the teams. Uh, at university, I was uh, a maths ambassador, UKSR ambassador. I had a lot of extracurriculars that I've done. And after graduating, I worked in the data science field first before coming on to the Alacrity program as one of their technical leads. Uh, I wanted to join the Alacrity program in particular was because I really like the idea of being able to start uh, my own tech company with um, people with really diverse skill sets, people from all walks of lives, and that was really exciting to me. And the reason why I wanted to join as a technical lead in particular is because um, after having done the data science internship, uh, I've had the opportunity to be able to learn Python, uh, which is a programming language. And I wanted to either learn um, different languages as well or continue with that one. And from what I've spoken to James previously, I had the opportunity to um, be able to build a, product, build a website in any language that we wanted. So that was that was a really fun thought to um, to be able to do. So that's why I applied in the first place. My Alacrity experience was pretty exciting overall. I got to meet a lot of wonderful people. I got to learn a whole new skill set. It was incredibly fast paced. Um, well, not incredibly, but it was quite fast paced. The boot camp, which was uh, about a month long, was particularly fun. We had to create a website by the end of it using the skills we've learned earlier on. And although it was a bit stressful during that time because I didn't have that much experience um, with Laravel and PHP, it was still really exciting. Um, also, uh, in terms of my Alacrity experience, a really big part of that was also the support we had from both our mentors and our uh, team members overall. Um, even now, after we've graduated, months after we've received seed funding, we do still keep in touch with the other cohort members. Sometimes we'd go on Zoom calls um, just to play like Among Us or something. So I've made lots of really great friends from there as well. Um, well, when we first got put into a team, so the team that I started with wasn't the team that I ended with. So the first uh, team that I had, um, it was a team where we had three developers um, and one person in who was going to handle all of the business related stuff. And it was pretty exciting overall, like uh, meeting new people in general is quite fun. And um, being put in a team of strangers, since the program was pretty well established and I knew that our mentors would do everything they can to put us in good teams. It wasn't really stressful. Um, at the beginning, after the technical boot camp, we also had a business boot camp where we worked closer with not just each other, but with the business leads as well. And that time it was pretty uh, fun getting to know each other. Um, afterwards, when the team got broken up and we were put into a new team, um, that was also... <laughs> That was also quite that was also quite interesting. Uh, I'm a, like my current team now, um, they're they're lovely. They're amazing. I love them to bits. Um, but w working with them at first was was very fun. Like everyone had like such different personalities. We're so outgoing and I wasn't incredibly used to that. So Intuitix is all about optimizing the management of the innovation process through automating the collection and communication of data uh, and gaining insights through analyzing and visualizing that data, which does sound a little complicated, but <laughs> um, overall, it's just about uh, smoothing out the innovation process, which is at the moment for many companies, in, like all over the place in general. Um, so yeah, that's what Intuitix does. 
In the Intuitix team, I'm one of the three developers working directly on the product. I'm a full stack developer, though I do specialize in front end. Um, but because we're a small team and we have quite a big product that we're working on, uh, I work on both the front end and the back end. I've recently taken charge of some of the DevOps AWS tasks. And um, yeah, so that's large, a large part of my role. Um, we do work, like each of us in the tech team do work with Josh, who is um, in charge of our product, to basically build the app in the standard that the user wants it, but that's the extent of my role as a, a dev team member. Simply, um, actually quite recently, it was just this past month, we were able to build our MVP, which was exciting for the dev team because we built all the core functionality uh, required by our clients. So now going forward, um, we're going to be working on usability improvements, uh, performance improvements to the app, and just a few more features, um, epics here and there that we've yet to scope out. Um, but yeah, that's one of the recent successes, which I'm really excited about. Um, so for me in particular, for our team in particular, I've noticed that the workload has been a lot heavier than I've initially anticipated. So of course, um, I did realize that starting a business was, wasn't gonna be like easy or smooth sailing by any means, but I was still surprised by how much um, it took to be able to get the product to the standard that it is now. And how also how quickly that plans can change, how, how quickly the product direction can change as well. So uh, we, do, we have built prototypes for um, how the client wants the product to look like. And we've gone through, I think, three iterations already. Um, we've changed the site dramatically about two or three times. Um, and that was fun. But yeah, the workload, definitely. It's, it's quite a bit. It's quite a lot for, um, well, not for anything, but it's... <laughs> It's a lot more than I anticipated. As a programmer, for example, if you're going to if you, if you're going on the startup as a developer, then I would say that it is incredibly important to have a really good mentor that you can rely on for advice, for help on the product. Um, our mentor was Nathan at the beginning and throughout the program itself, and he was really good he was amazing at being able to tell us like um what we did wrong what we can do um especially starting out as well because um at the beginning we've had debates over um whether we should use MySQL or not, whether we should use Laravel view or not. Um, and having Nathan along for that ride was was really, really helpful as well, because um, for a bunch of people, a bunch of team members who didn't really have too much experience, um, it, it's great to have someone with like 20, 30 years of experience to have our back and everything. And in general, for creating a startup tech or otherwise, um, as I mentioned previously, communication is really the most important aspect to building a successful team and product. Um, and that really does apply to both the team members as well as client relationships. Um, that's why we uh, make sure to have standups daily, make sure to have uh, biweekly sprint sessions and to have like, you know, to communicate with everyone on a daily basis. <laughs> 